Hey guys, welcome back to M B Seven. This is Key here, and this is Rush the Jamaican in the building, aka Blondie Dread Wagwan Wagwan. Our good people, yes, Zimmy. One more time, not the building. Wagwan, indeed. We are back with <laughs> Chappelle again, Chappelle Show. Yes, Zimmy. We're gonna watch episode four and five. You since you guys really love these videos and us reacting to it. We're going to continue on mm -hmm. for our enjoyment as well as yours. Um, so let's continue on. I travel a lot, and needless to say, hey, know, Chappelle. I get horny out there. I'm a chronic masturbator. I remember, I I remember those PC, 90s But I felt like it was just too much clickety clack, clickety clack with my Mac. I mean, the video resolution is so clear, I can see parts of the vagina that I didn't even know existed. Labias and flabias and flip flaps. Man. <laughs> I'm a chronic masturbator. <laughs> I don't know what they make the cues out of, but whatever it is, it's non-stick. And then with iTunes, I can actually listen to some of my favorite music while I'm masturbating. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to mess with. <laughs> <laughs> I love internet porn. <laughs> really, Wu Tang? <laughs> ain't nothing basically, to mess with. <laughs> basically on beat with Wu Tang Clan songs. Okay. <laughs> We get you, we get you. Just gave up. I have a tape. I'll show you some of the tape. It was <laughs> embarrassing, man. You know what's happened? Here's what's happened because of that thinking, as well intentioned as it may be, is you have taken the white people angry and you white have man. A made them angry. And B, you talk white people talk amongst each other when they see a black <laughs> person in a job at a company. <laughs> they say he is an affirmative action hire. <laughs> <laughs> White people talk I amongst them. saying, hey, that nigga's homeless. <laughs> I'd much rather be called an affirmative action hire than broke and, and unemployed. <laughs> As you can see, though, from the tape, I really didn't have nothing to say. <laughs> I was like, should I just Basically, choke? that's what his face was. It's like, no, it's also, why the hell am I here? <laughs> like, seriously. Like, really? Why the hell am I here? Yeah. Why the hell am I here to hear you talk this whole time? All right, fine. But hangry white man. Okay. Somebody. Or... <laughs> all right, all right. Let's take another look. See what else we got here. I don't know about you, gentlemen, but I don't like to be forced. <laughs> when I'm pushed, I'm only pushed so far, and then I push back. Forced. Oh, you mean like slavery forced? No, 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 no. You know that thing where you forced mm -mm. us to no. work, honey. What do you think? Black people was like, no problem, boss. I love to. Man, that was infuriating, man. Trying to get paid for the work of my forefathers. <laughs> done and done. The only thing that I would say is if we do ever get our reparations, mm. which I doubt, mm -hmm. but if we do, we black people got to get together yes. and come up with the plan for the money. Yes. This is a consumer-based economy. You can't mm -hmm. just give black people all this if that if that was to ever happen, and somebody bring up this clip here of Chappelle saying that, yes, baby, we got we got something here, we got something, we got something here. But he's right on the money though. Put all of my money together, but knowing black people, we ain't gonna do it. No, we should We're do put it. Put in no. other things, but we doing should something do it. we should truly should invest in, but. Right. Turn them loose on the streets. That could be a potential disaster. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if someone actually did that. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see why, don't we? And now, a New Center 3 special report with Frank Dobson and Chuck Taylor. Oh, my Good Lord. Chuck Taylor. Frank <laughs> it's so... It's, the bleaching cream gone. It's so mm, much powder. Mm, mm. It's so much powder. <laughs> He the said, rub, the rub, wicked man. He you see said, me? he told, he told makeup artists, give me as white as you can. Yeah, the rub, <laughs> wicked. You see me? In my car, till I make friends. <laughs> <laughs> give me as white as you can. <laughs> but big up to the DJ. You see me? Our top story, as we all know, Congress recently approved paying over a trillion dollars to African Americans as reparations for slavery. Yes. Well, today the first checks were sent out. Wendy Mullen is standing by live in Queens with more. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chuck. We're standing here in front of the Olympic liquor store. In I'm done. I had to stop 
seven before she even finished the sentence. But how the poor people, how the money y'all, there's poor people around. That's how she sounds sometimes. <laughs> 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 exactly like that. <laughs> Sir, now that you've got your check, you plan on quitting your job driving this truck? Truck driver? I ain't no truck driver. I'm a janitor. Janitor? That's right, baby. I just bought this truck straight cash. <laughs> cigarettes to last me and my family for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> and then after this he plays it at the end of every Chappelle episode he plays yes. that that's that saying at the end of every yes <laughs> yes because he definitely did get rich off of the show mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so Chuck as you can see it's been a pretty amazing day back to you wait Wendy let me get this straight why aren't there any banks in the ghetto well, Chuck, that's because banks hate that black people, but I think that's about to change. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're right, Wendy. God damn almighty, I bet you're right. <laughs> well, these checks aren't just affecting things on Beach Street. Wall Street is having a big day as well. Our financial correspondent, Michael Peterson, is there. Michael, yeah, what's I'm happening? Good. Chuck, a lot of activity, as you can imagine, here on the market. These that's a power of HD, y'all. Like <laughs> Get this, Sprint stock has skyrocketed after the news that two Sprint used to look like that, y'all, for yes. y'all millennials. Sprint Sprint logo was actually like that before it became yellow, and now it's part of T-Mobile. So there's no more Sprint. Poor baby. T-Sprint. Delinquent phone bills have been paid just this morning. Gold is way up. Diamonds are at their most expensive level ever. Catchphrase around here is certainly bling bling. Oil has dropped to a dollar fifty a barrel, while chicken shot to. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. It, it would be and so chicken bad. Chicken shot up to what? It would be so bad if they say watermelon went up too. <laughs> Dollars are Amazing news there. Just about everything on the market is up. However. Watermelon. He said it. He said it. Just, what you, just what you just said. Like, <laughs> just what you just said. What's the price? Surprisingly flat to find many analysts out there. Yeah, oh, flat. yeah. Okay. I believe that. Thousand record labels have been started in the last. Uh, hour. we, but that's true though. In the last Tell hour. Announced that they sold three million Escalade yeah. trucks this afternoon alone. It's incredible, Chuck. These people just seem to. Well, Cadillac ain't the the number one black black owned car no more. It's infinity. I guess so. Infinity. <laughs> We're all stepping up in life, you know. Right back to us, <laughs> folks. I am happy to report that the recession is now officially over. I'm and we done. Have nobody to thank but all these black people with their taste for expensive clothes, fancy cars, and of course, gaudy jewelry. <sighs> Chuck, <laughs> I can't believe my ears. The news just keeps rolling in here. I have just been told that FUBU, FUBU, FUBU is now the world's largest corporation for merging with Kentucky, <laughs> merging with Kentucky Fried Chicken. Like, y'all, FUBU. even though FUBU don't exist no more, I think they try to make a comeback, but FUBU don't exist no more. KFC, KFC I feel like it's on its thin, thin thread right now. Yep. It's thriving in Jamaica though. Phew. It's I was thriving in Jamaica though. It's not? thriving. Ooh. You know what? Let let's move on. God, we can't get done right now. I wish me had some KFC right now from yard, not from here, sir, but from yard. But we know who know. You see me? Listen, another amazing development on an already amazing day. Mm. KFC. Yes. A truly wild day that none of us will ever forget, no matter how hard we try. <laughs> We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, the crime rate has fallen to 0%. Mm. <laughs> How could that be? Yeah. Did the Mexicans get money today? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that? You can't say that no more. Mm, no. Nah. <laughs> can't say that no more. <sighs> Not in this your time here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you still on the clock, silly. <laughs> yeah. Mm, they're like... <laughs> I think we'll be alright. Mexicans don't watch the news. <laughs> you should have said that either. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. He said they watch Thelmundo. Don't go anywhere. It will be here when you get back. Chill it. 
with some KFC chicken from Yard. You yeah, zimmy. A secret 1986 document from a major tobacco company mm -hmm. contains the following passage. Those were the old truth commercials. commercials. Yes. They, put up, they put up this big, so let me tell y'all, if y'all don't know, they used to, the, I'm, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, the um, the truth commercials, it was always one person and it'd be this big old orange, you know, uh, background behind them and they would just they always tell their cigarette and cigarette stories, right? Yes. Tobacco stories, and then they they tell you, and there's always someone telling you the truth of how much tobacco companies are actually making, but. I'm telling you not to smoke. Yeah, basically. Uh, 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 uh. Cigarette smoking can result in feelings of euphoria, increased alertness, rises in short-term memory. <laughs> Do the opposite. It can have a calming effect on nerves. Oh yeah, they did that too. I forgot. If they had the the curtain ones, they always show you somebody. Some it was always what the, they always show you a person, or they show you like some type of diagram or mm -hmm. picture or something, right? Yes. They stupid. You know, they're not bad after unprotected sex with multiple partners either. <laughs> hey, Scooter, you trying to get some of this? Come on, dog. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarettes, but come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it though. Oh Jesus. And the fake mustache to go with it. Hi everybody. I'm Lyle standing in New York City. Boob capital of North America. Looking for great New York boobs. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me, miss. Hi. Can I talk to you for one second? Pardon me. Can I talk to you for my TV show? She said no. <laughs> <laughs> she ran for her life. She's like, oh, she ran no. She ran for her life. <laughs> said, nah, uh, uh, not she today. She ran <laughs> for her life. She said, you're not catching me on this show. Boy, they don't got none of that no so more sweet. down there. Down there has changed. What's your name? Jesus. <laughs> Why? Jeannie, you have great New York boobs. Fantastic. <laughs> I know why people was laughing at the bed. I don't know why people was laughing at the bed. <laughs> this is Joe Rogan from NBC's Fear Factor. Can I tell you something? She was ready. You have great. New York boobs. Are we talking to Yeah. <laughs> so look, her friend was disappointed in the bag. Mm hmm You see her friend? She's like, you gonna give me one too? Nate. Like, come on, come on, come on, bro. You gonna give come me on. one too? <laughs> yeah, I see her. She looking too. She's like, you gonna give me one? I'm done. Yes, yeah, see. Well, I drink from those C cups every day. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh <laughs> she had to, she, she had to, she had to hide behind him because she's supposed to sign for cassette to be on the um, the show. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> they couldn't even. This is when camera qual camera positions was bad back then. <laughs> They're busy. <laughs> yeah. This is Joe Rogan from NBC's Fear Factor. Can I tell you something? Like, oh my god, you I know. He was. Oh, really? I just. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's well, sir, you have fabulous genetics. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> you help make a great set of New York boobs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, if he went to Harlem, I'm done. <laughs> I knew he was gonna find a big person. Yo, Chappelle is so sick. I knew he was gonna try to find a big person. I knew and he's it. in blue. And he's in blue too. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Fortune magazine released their annual list of the hundred wealthiest people today, and Bill Gates has been overtaken. By whom you ask? A Harlem resident named simply. I can't wait, wait. 
Tron. Tron? Who was that? Who was that? They couldn't they go to the old Tron. Our Stephanie Gold is standing by with them now. So how did you become the world's wealthiest man, Tron? With his kid right there. Hot hand in the dice game, baby girl. Six hours straight, talking about clanning, clanging, clanging. Now you look at the world's richest man, and I'm black. Kiss my black ass, America. All right, well, I think what everyone wants to know now is what are you going to do with all this money? Uh, I'm going to reinvest my money into the community. Oh, that's a very nice gesture. What were you doing? Who put that guy? <laughs> who put that money in her pocket? Was that already there? No, he just they slid it in. <laughs> he kept on. Look, look, look. She would. She would. <laughs> Condolences to the people from 9-11, but he do look like he, he came from <laughs> under the rubble. This job sucks. Kiss the rings, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell that's what you would say during quitting when you actually quit your job one day. I could see you doing that. Kiss the ring. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Yo, you're not even new. Oh, me that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and there you have it. Excuse me. So we got paid yet, Chuck? Incredible. I'm receiving word that Colin Powell has just bitch slapped Vice President That's Dick right. Cheney. Right. <laughs> 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 I remember when they were big news. She goes, "Wow! Kiss the ring." From the streets. Respect mine. <laughs> Respect mine. I forgot her name. Oh, I got something. I didn't that know she was on here. Flow motherfucking tizzite. Tizzite? What's up, ladies? Oh, oh my god. Yo, rock and roll records. Rock and roll's about to get all up in that ass. You feeling fresh now? Oh, shizzle my bizzle. Oh my god. What are you no, doing? Don't do that. What? No, no. So if your bomb is leaking, you need to be seeking. Rashida Jones. There we go. It's the rock. I just remember her name, Rashida Jones. The rock. It's incredible, man. I mean, these dudes are into everything. It's real shitty down here. I can't. He oh, got. It's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Winnie, I'm telling you. Red man. Well, how does it work? Well, the motherfucker works like <laughs> spraying in the toilet and the enzymes and shit collaborate together, make some kind of mixture and get all that shit you got. You got celery and llama beans and corn and chicken bones and shit in here. <laughs> it was yummy going down. I can't. Son, why not call on your man? Holla. Red man potty fresh. The only toilet bowl cleaner with enzymes and shit that collaborate together to make some kind of mixture that gets your toilet bowl sparkling white. <laughs> got those awful stains out. Flush the toilet with your pancake ass, bitch! <laughs> 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 I'll get the brown out. 
Had to yep. put three leave, Asian leave. women sitting next to each other. I can't. <laughs> At least enjoy it. I can't. Yeah. I don't know if you guys watch those old NFL films. With time running out, Johnson had one last fleeting stab at glory. Bartender! <laughs> Where the white man come from? Well, the old white man. <laughs> I would like another drink. Ashley Evans, affectionately known throughout the league as Smashley Evans, okay. was putting the finishing touches on a newly single party with her friends. <laughs> you better run from the train of destiny look at his footwork though you saw his footwork it was beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Johnson sprung into action. Oh my god! He yeah. got him before him! It was Jimmy Mackey's ninth interception of the year, living up to his reputation as one of the bad boys of the league. Johnson employed a trick play, one he hadn't used since his high school days. Hey, hey, you've got to stop her! But it wasn't her scarf. Of course it wasn't. He actually didn't even own a scarf, but was too drunk to realize it. Take me home. Yeah, Look at him. With opportunity and quick thinking, the way they did that fateful night. <laughs> That's a big thing. He called the police after Yes, he did. Yes, he most definitely did. <laughs> Of all the flights to be on, I gotta ride with them terrorist <laughs> sons of bitches. Okay. I got an eye on you, Al Qaeda. <laughs> what are those Negroes doing in first mm -hmm. class? I'm mm -hmm. done! I think that was a stereotype back then, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Must be rappers. I'd better keep an eye on Sarah. No, Sarah wants to tap some rapper butt. Get her butt. What? Well, well, actually, the other way around. Get herself some rapper, rapper um, dangling. Yes, so. Me not trust a white man. Mm, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm get past security with that. How do you get? You don't you know get what? past security with that. <laughs> no offense to our Native American brothers and sisters. I know this is not the usual garb, but no offense, baby. <laughs> the bison? I can't. <laughs> Basically, that's how America is currently. <laughs> that's what America is. If you go down the damn line, if you actually go down the line, yes. you see, America was never great. Everybody's just thinking the same thing that would just happen here. That made them so curious, and I got comedian Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Paul yeah. Mooney. To answer these questions for him. If you don't know Paul Mooney, he was, a, he was a writer for Richard Pryor I'm for joking. many years, you just and some the guy. one of the best comedian working today. <laughs> Can black guys jump high? Yeah. You can jump high. You gotta jump. <laughs> don't do something when you run from the police. <laughs> <laughs> I ask you, why walk like this, huh? All you, almost, all you black guy, why? Why you act like this? You see, you see the guy in the background? <laughs> yeah. You see the black guy in the background? <laughs> like, what the hell? You just ask them? A lot of people walk like that because we have style, we got flavor, mm -hmm. we got rhythm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the black man in America is the most copied man on this planet, mm -hmm. bar none. Everybody want to be a nigga, but nobody want to be a nigga. That's right. <laughs> Right. Carol Channing just admitted she was a nigga. The rest of them need to break down. <laughs> 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 that 
I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Yo, I can't. That's why I love Paul Mooney because he's like another Dave Chappelle. He's real too. He's another real comedian. Like he don't care either way. He don't. He's another one that don't care. Yeah, why we black people like to smoke so much weed? Can you tell me why? <laughs> Well, I have a question for that nigga. Well, where are your teeth? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! He was going to get it on his teeth. I knew he was going to get him on his teeth. Black people just like to party. They have that in their, their blood. And sometimes they can go overboard. It's real sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And don't ask me about drugs. Ask Whitney and Bobby. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. I be with me. But my mm -hmm. God. He's with the Whitney and Bobby route. He said, don't ask me, man. Don't. You went the Whitney and Bobby route. Permission to die, Sarge. Permission granted. You report to heaven at 0800 hours, and that's an order, soldier. I'll tell him Uncle Sam sent me. <laughs> Why, God? Why? Don't ask God. Ask Nick's. Why? <laughs> Why? I can't. <laughs> my lady, my lady, don't run from me. My lady. <laughs> hey! Why he gotta do that accent though? He gotta do it without the accent. <laughs> I think he tried to do a British accent, but it came out sounding like a tap. No. Want to be Italian yeah. or Hispanic? No, I, Italian. Italian, right? Milord. Milord. Oh, my lady. Oh. Oh. Well. Hmm. Seems as though the boot will perhaps won't be necessary. I've swallowed my pantaloon. I'm going to get a bowl of cereal. You get some rest. Ta ta. <laughs> <laughs> He's proud. Leave him alone. I can't. But I, it should be funny for a, for something for the same. For an eighty eight person, no. <laughs> That's the same face I would have had too. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, Jesus! <laughs> Ooh. You see his face? You see the face? Girl, get back to work. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I would have been hurt with the slow clap. Like, what the heck are you clapping for? Even the guy with the broken hand getting up and clapping too? Did you see where it actually was full of phone? Yeah, the really, right. And then, but then this this scene was it's over his eyebrow. Mm, and it's shorter. Okay. Yes. Bob. Oh. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He didn't even say anything. That's all he needed to say. That's it. Show up. He didn't even say Listen, just like they just show clips of movies that he was supposed to be in. That's, that he did? That he was supposed to be in that he, Yep. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man, what's up, dog? If you let one drop hit this motherfucking wave runner, I'm going to kick your motherfucking ass. Deborah. Oh, girl, I should shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to close the motherfucking land because we got some business. <laughs> 
I should pee on you all like, I'll kill it. 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 I'll Mm -hmm. That one was funny as well. That's the ones I really enjoyed. The same Those ones as here too, yeah. They were hella funny. Can you think of what you want to say? No, I can't wait to the next few episodes, man. I, I, let's see. <laughs> it's, it's, it's bringing back so much nostalgia. nostalgia and stuff like that. And the jokes is just hitting and stuff like that. But not some to of mention, them are hitting and then some of them you can't really say Yeah, because certain cause stuff is very offensive and all that stuff, which we respect everybody. In, walk, in all walks of life, all right, you see me? Because we are all on the, this big, beautiful planet that we call Earth, so we need to show love to everybody, you see me? It's all a little bit about fun and jokes, you see me? Most definitely. Just don't take out somebody here, yeah, though, as my mom would say, you see me? <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to end this video here. Thanks so for sorry. watching. If you, you like me? this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content that we put on this channel, please subscribe down below. And please hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest and greatest video, guys. Because we do drop videos I and mean, we want you to stay up to date. You see me? Most definitely. Please remember to tell a friend. To make a friend. To keep a friend. So we, we all, all can, can be, be friends. friends. You see me? Ah, pick up the Real Real Productions. Big up the Fire Furnace. You see me? Big up the Prior Range. And also big up my partner in crime right here. Who always keep us level upon the gravel. Which you all need to stay. You see me? <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. It's a big arrow punch and I want it. You know what? Bye, guys. Look for more people.